what should my metabolic reset meal contain? This is obviously from a DVCC client because they have called it a metabolic reset meal, which is the first win. And this is probably the favourite topic of discussion. Well, number one, they've done very well by calling it a metabolic reset meal because cheap meal is what a lot of people call these types of meals. And that has a bad... Well, it's a very negative well, way of Well, you're cheating, which, what does cheating is a negative connotation. A metabolic reset meal is for a reason, so you have no reason to feel guilty. Or... And so a metabolic reset meal is basically where you're having a meal that you would look forward to, you would consider, you wouldn't, it's not a, it's not related to fat loss or muscle tone, it's not a healthy meal. It's one that you perhaps have craved for a few weeks or you're really looking forward to. You're going out for, I don't know, an Indian restaurant with friends or what have you. Now, let's, we'll admit our views on this have changed gradually over the years and we've formulated our opinion slightly. It's changed over the last year, even 12 months. And it used to be, you know, eat whatever you want, sit down, as long as you're just sitting down for that one meal, eat what you want. But now we've become more interested slash knowledgeable on health as well as um, just getting transformations, we are now suggesting to our clients that they want to have protein, they want to have fat or carbs. They want fat and carbs to be inversely proportional. That means the more fat you have, the less carbs you'd have, and vice versa. The more carbs you'd have in a meal, the less fat you'd have. Most people would generally crave carbohydrate types foods. So what can happen though, if you're not careful about the amount of fat content in those foods, is you will literally be able to, and we discovered this, and I think this has changed because food quality has probably changed where there is now more fat as well as carbohydrate. And that combination of high amounts of fat, you know, trans fats often, and high amounts of carbohydrate or sugar really is a poor combination because it doesn't fill you up. It will lead to major cravings and also you've just managed to drastically take an enormous amount of calories without really realizing. So previously, foods weren't quite made the same way they seem yeah, to be now. They kind of, manufacturing is obviously being manipulated by the media and they're trying to find different ways. But the amounts I, I was looking at, I think it was a cheesecake or, or whatever it was, like a normal, just you can get them in m and just a single person cheesecake. And the amount of fat, but not good fat, because obviously fat is good, some saturated, terrible fat with also lots of sugar. Now that's a prime. If you want to put on body fat, have a croissant with a full fat latte with cream and everything else like that. You've got saturated fats, really bad hydrogenated fats, and also carbohydrate, sugar, sugary carbohydrates. So reset meals are there for a reason. You want to replenish your glycogen, all those types of things, but it doesn't mean you need to just smash your body full of terrible things for it because at the end of the day it will have a negative effect whether that's health or physique body fat wise protein number one carbohydrates or fats inversely proportional high carbs low fats high fat low carbs okay simple if you stick to that for your metabolic reset meals um, then you will not go far wrong yeah